Well, today, United Way is joining us with some great investments and changes coming their way. And Laura Yates Clark joins us now with more. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Uh, you guys recently changed the name. It used to be United Way of Central Carolinas, but now the name has changed. Why the change? We changed the name to United Way of Greater Charlotte to better reflect the region that we serve. It's Mecklenburg, Cabarrus, Union, and Anson counties. Mm -hmm. And also to really connect people to where the dollars they're giving us are being invested in the community. Did your branding change as well? With we that? have. We've updated our brand, our look, our feel. We really wanted to bring some new energy to it. Right. And, and with this big change comes a pretty big investment too. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we're thrilled to announce that we've just invested about $16 million in the community. Um, through this investment, we'll fund 132 nonprofits. We'll be investing in neighborhoods across the city. We'll be investing in grassroots organizations. The list of our partners has really changed quite a bit from a few years ago. No, this is a, a amazing because you got to go into communities that really are kind of like die, you know, disinvested communities and you're going to go ahead and change the out total outlook of that community. Well, that's exactly it. We realized that we needed to get more proximate to the challenges that our city faces, that we needed to not be so hands off. And so we've partnered with these neighborhoods across the city, across the county to really work with the residents, hear what the concerns are, hear what the needs are, and then bring the resources. Are this also, uh, is it led by the residents as, as well too? Absolutely. So we know that the people who are experiencing the issues, who live in these communities, they know best about what their community needs. So we are there to walk alongside as partners, but it's really being led by them. And, and I understand too, you have the United Way, the Unite program. Tell me a little bit about what that is. Sure. So Unite Charlotte started in 2016 after the shooting of Keith Lamont Scott, when we really held a mirror up and said, what could we be doing to further racial equity and reduce inequality in Charlotte? And for us, we needed to be funding more black and brown led nonprofits. For the most part, we weren't doing that. It had been the same group of agencies we'd been funding for a long time. And there are a lot of other organizations out there. And so that program gave us the opportunity to fund new and innovative solutions across the city. It sounds like you guys are really excited about the new campaign that's kind of going on. We are. We're thrilled. It's been a long journey. Making this kind of shift for an organization like United Way doesn't happen overnight, but we've been really pleased with the support we've gotten from our nonprofit partners, from the residents in these communities, and from our donors. Well, if anyone watching right now wants to find out more information about everything we've talked about today, where can they go? They can go to unitedwaygreaterclt.org and find out how to volunteer, donate, or advocate in their community. You guys did some great work. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it.